Here at World Pork Expo in Des Moines, Iowa, we're at the Chris Hansen tent. Chris Hansen develops feed solutions to meet the nutritional demands of livestock while providing healthy economic returns to producers. Joining me is Mark Bertram with First Choice Livestock. Mark, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. And also with us is Bob Lance with Chris Hansen. Bob, thank you for joining. Let's talk about Chris Hansen being the really the, the global leader for over 20 years now in direct fed microbials and we want to talk about a particular probiotic BioPlus 2B. Why does this continue to be a leader in the market? Well Mike I think it comes down to a couple of things and, and first of all we believe that uh, BioPlus 2B is the uh, gold standard in probiotics uh, at least in the swine industry uh, but but I think really if you, to answer your question uh, BioPlus 2B for years has been the only uh, probiotic in the marketplace with dual strain as a strain of Bacillus lictinformis, a, a strain of Bacillus subtilis, and each one of those strains brings a unique uh, characteristic to the product. Uh, the Bacillus lictinformis has demonstrated the ability to uh, improve the, uh, the the health situation in the gut. Uh, on the other hand, the Bacillus subtilis uh, is a big enzyme producer, allows the pig to uh, uh, better utilize the nutrition in the diet. And so, in one product, we've got a a, a, a combination of. Uh, uh, things that will help from a health perspective and can also uh, aid from uh, the ability to uh, digest nutrients. Uh, th the other area then that is, is really important to understand is that BioPlus 2B is the, uh, without question, the most uh, well-documented and researched probiotic in the industry. Uh, not just Chris Hansen research, but university research and research from our customers. And what we've learned from that research is really to un better understand the uh, uh, mode of action of, of bacillus organisms. Uh, and those certainly would include things like competitive exclusion, where basically we're talking about feeding millions, or if not billions, of bacteria to pigs and, and, and crowding out the bad pathogenic bacteria in the digestive tract. Uh, in addition to that, there's some inhibition properties that uh, have, we've seen uh, the potential for bacillus to uh, inhibit the growth of, of some uh, bad bacteria. You combine those together, and, and what you end up with is uh, uh, a really nicely modulated gut microflora. It's an environment where lactic acid uh, bacteria can, can proliferate, and of course that's going to benefit the pig. And then we, we, we've seen uh, evidence of uh, helping the immune system. Uh, and so when you get in that situation where you need to use some therapeutics to treat a particular disease, um, you know, we see, we see good response there. And then finally, um, bacillus are good enzyme producers, and again, that helps that pig to better utilize the nutrition in the diet. Well, let's talk more about that, Mark. When we talk about bacillus producing enzymes, why is that important both to the pig and to the producer? Well, the main thing to keep in mind is the bacillus are natural enzyme producers, and their total goal is to increase the uh, likelihood of proliferation and growth of, of their organisms. So what they're going to do is produce the enzymes that they need to di help to digest the uh, feed particles that they're surrounded by in the intestinal tract, uh, thereby releasing the glucose, the amino acids, and the things that they need to grow. So as the substrates in the diet change, different feed ingredients for example, the bacillus are going to, to change the types of enzymes that they produce in order to maximize their growth rate. Pig is going to benefit from that obviously through increased digestibility of the feed. The, uh, the bugs will uh, reabsorb some of those nutrients but the pig will also uh, reabsorb some of those. So you're going to have the uh, ability to increase the digestibility of, of all nutrients in the diet. Um, you also, uh, what that allows the producer to do then is there's two ways to take advantage of this increased digestibility. One is to uh, allow the nutritionist or the producer to somewhat down formulate the diets, have somewhat lower le levels of energy, lower levels of amino acids, increase the digestibility of those to maintain performance of the animals while doing that at a lower cost. Uh, a secondary way to, to take advantage of those, uh, that increased digestibility that is, is, uh, comes about because of the enzyme production is to add the, the bacillus on top of the uh, current diet, uh, increase the digestibility of the ingredients, allow that pig to grow faster and more efficiently. Uh, that could be particularly important if you have, uh, you know, pen density issues where a late finishing when pen density becomes somewhat limiting to growth potential, uh, increasing digestibility can, can help offset some of that 
depression that we see in growth and late finishing. Uh, also during periods of warmer weather uh, when growth rate tends to decrease if we need to increase the market weights of those animals that increased digestibility of adding the the bioplus on top of a current diet can be of a, a great value to the producers when you're looking at um, uh, selecting a bacillus organism to, to use in the diets it's really important not just to say that you know I want a bacillus or I want a bacillus subtilis but you need to take it to the next step and understand what that strain is and so as you're making that decision, what products do I want to use? You need to be working with someone who's got that research, who's done the work, who can uh, understand and, and bring to you the benefits of, uh, of that particular strain. And then that, that alludes a little bit to what Mark talked about in terms of giving you some flexibility. Do I want to use uh, alternative ingredients or do I have a, a, a production situation where perhaps I, I have the opportunity to, to add extra pounds? And so it really provides you that flexibility and I'd encourage every producer to visit with Chris Hansen, your nutritionist, or visit with your feed supplier and find out if uh, the solutions that we have to offer are going to be appropriate for your particular situation. From the Chris Hansen Tent at World Pork Expo at the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines, I'm Mike Adams.